May, part three now. Maybe he feels the same way about me, and um, and I've got to somehow alleviate or defuse or understand or let go or realize. I don't know what uh, you know. I don't know what they want me to uh, to do, really. Um, I need someone who cares. I really do. I need, I need someone who cares, and uh, you know, um, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm, I'm lost. Confused, dazed, scared, worried. Um, because all I was hoping to do was, like I said to my mother, was uh, was um, was find a route out of here. But it looks like I'm getting deeper and deeper into it. I mean, you know, the way they the way they operate is they give you leave. But like I said, you know, um, it's just a way of get them getting the upper hand. Um, and I'm not going to let them get the upper hand. Because why should I? Why should I be their fucking slave? You know, we've had this before where the black guys are trying to get their own back on white guys. That, that ain't what this is about. This is just an evil, twisted system, like I've said a million times. And, you know, it does make me angry. Um, but I've got a lovely sergeant from... Uh, from um, from Nottinghamshire Police on duty tomorrow um, and then we can start the ball rolling on the the theft the illegal eviction and the fraud whether they're going to take me seriously whether they're going to stand up for me whether they're going to elect let me have my rights like what should have happened from the day I arrived here like I told my mum you know they should have um, you know the first question you think you think they would have asked is uh, you know what's been going on you know like like a normal doctor I, I don't know maybe I'm giving this guy a hard time but he, he's forcing me to take something that doesn't agree with me and I'm sick of breaking it down. I'm sick of simplifying it. I'm sick of him thinking there's something wrong. Because, you know, who is in the wrong here, you know? Because I can't see how I'm in the wrong unless I've got to make something up to... To keep them happy, I, I don't know. Um, anyways, these videos are going to be quite difficult to upload because I don't know which one's part one, which one's part two, and which one's part three. Um, but, uh, yeah. At least, at least I've got these shoes and I've got this look. I've got this. It, uh, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this really anymore. Like you know, uh, there are so many people trying to cause me harm. Um, I mean, I've just had an hour-long conversation with my mother, and. Uh, And, 
you know, I don't know more to say really. I think I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna be tired. Um, I will survive this, you know. Um, I've just got to get this asshole doctor off my back because, you know, I think I'm gonna to have to ask for a move and just tune in with more senior people. And, uh, and so, cause like, you know, what I was hoping for was t to discuss, you know, what went down in Nottingham, um, and then move on to the system here and how you're meant to get leave, you're meant to build the leave up, and then you're meant to be moved to a, to another unit. But he's just said to me, he's just come in saying that because of what happened the other day, and even if it hadn't have happened, I think he would have still tried to frighten me and scare me with with certain medications. I'm not I'm not gonna play these people's games, you know, I'm not gonna play their games. I don't play games. It's boring, it's childish, it's pathetic, it's it's sad, it's Again, it, it will come back on you. Um, so, I'm going to leave it here now. Um, I am tired. I don't know why I'm tired. I don't. I can't really work that out. Um, but the energy goes down sometimes, doesn't it? And uh, he's not explaining to me why I need a mood stabilizer. Um, and I've just walked out of the meeting and he's the only person I've got to kind of rely on. Um, he's meant to be my saviour, my confidant, my helper. And he's behaving like an animal. You know, I slagged him off. I said to him, I found him arrogant. I talked about cocaine. I called him stupid. I called Merrin stupid, my my uh, care coordinator. They need to really get down to the nitty gritty about this whole situation. And it needs to be opened up, 747. It needs to be opened up and uh, and the truth to surface. Um, because that's my destiny that's my that's my calling in life I think is to is to rid these countries of, of these evil stuff that they're pumping into people's body and you know I'm using Article 8 and I've said this to him Human Rights Act and all the rest of it um, and I've slowed down a bit. My mind ain't, ain't racing like it used to. So obviously something's doing me good. Um, but I can't, you know, I can't take this mood stabiliser and uh, neither do I want Coplexol or Clozapine. Obviously not. You know, they make you dribble, they make you sick, they make you, um, they put you in a bad place. I, I, I don't get it, I just don't get it. And it, it doesn't make any sense, 9-11 again. It doesn't make any sense, you know. Uh, and they, they all think they're getting the better of me now and they're cheering, it's just... Uh, they're using your your mind against you, um, which is pretty, well, I say just let them, you know, let them do what they want because Dr. Khan knows and and doc, two Dr. Khans and, you know, the Stevenage guy, doc, I can't think, Murphy and, you know, a lot of these doctors know that they, they're not free of it, particularly my, my friend at the Highbury unit. Um, they know that, it, it, it's not 
they're not free of their their comeuppance. So I'll leave it there. Over and out, guys. Nice talking to you. Take care. Bye-bye.